Atlanta and Houston reside at opposite ends of the NBA spectrum. Atlanta's biding their time and assembling a young core. Their years away from contending saw any draft trinkets they pick up along their journey are helpful. This Houston team is championship or bust. They employ one of the league's stratospheric superstars who slaps up video game numbers on the regular. With Chris Paul's hamstring still ailing on Clint Capella's torn thumb ligament, James Harden's gonna need some help in keeping this team afloat. Why the Hawks do it? The player return on this trade for the Hawks is a big bag of nothing. Brandon Knight hasn't been a factor in two years. Nene along with his salt and pepper man are on their last legs. Marquise Chris adds intrigue as a recent lottery pick but it's entirely possible he doesn't know how to play basketball. He does, however, have the most eloquent prose written about his talents of any player in history. The Hawks are looking to unload their veterans, according to a recent tweet from Mark Stein, while the players coming back to Atlanta would be mere salary fodder, the draft assets would aid their rebuilding. The Rockets do it. To make it through the ringer of the Western Conference, the Rockets need more capable bodies to rely on. They also need a Capella replacement while he recovers over the next four to six weeks, a solution they don't currently have in-house. Dwayne Dedman could give Houston a reasonable Capella impersonation while also providing the aspect of a stretch five. Because, hey, they definitely need more shooters. Next, around the NBA in 15 trades 2019, Day 5, Celtics and Magic Bazemore is another mid-sized swingman who can play defense and shoot the three ball at a good clip. He's also known for being a consummate teammate, so he'd fit right into their hierarchy without issue. Daryl Morey knows it's go time for Houston. It won't be a question of if the Rockets make a move, but when.